Kinda looks like I'm pregnant. Not pregnant. There's blood going down there. Let's see if my natural vegan deodorant did the trick. Yep, yeah. nope, it did not. I don't under really understand this really weird fear. Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Today, I don't feel so great. Um, it actually feels like I'm gonna cry right now. Um, first of all, I, I'm on PMSing, so I feel very low and sad. Whenever I'm on my PMS, I tend to feel very sad. I, I know some women or some, uh, some people, they can get uh, very angry, <laughs> irritated. I don't. I just get very low and sad and yeah, anything and everything can make me cry. And on top of that, <laughs> I'm doing something that really, really, really scares me today. And I'm going out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing, but I really don't feel like doing this. Um, I was actually in a car accident like two years ago, but I've had this fear um, for many years, but that car accident didn't help. And my one of my biggest fears is actually to drive the car and to drive it um, at place, places I have never been driving before. And Thomas, my boyfriend, he's um, at work right now. And when he's at work, he's working for one one week and he's gone for one week somewhere in Norway. He, he travels around in Norway when he works. And then he's home free for one week. Then he's gone for one week. He's home for one, yeah, you know. And um, I'm off work for a few days now. And he asked me if I wanted to come and visit him. And of course I want to visit him, but that means I have to drive the car. There, and I've never been there before so yesterday I had like a phone-blown panic all day long I was so stressed so so anxious and I was like no not going not going there not going there and it's from here where we live is five hours of driving and probably if I'm gonna drive it's gonna be six because I want to take it really slow and and then I was like oh. and I don't want to throw the word anxiety around easily because I know so many of my friends they are suffering from depression and suffering from huge huge anxiety but this fear truly is anxiety for me I can feel myself just talking about it right now I feel so stressed my heart rate is going up I can feel myself sweating and um, yeah that car accident didn't help this fear but I know the only way to get this fear to fuck off is to drive the damn car <laughs> and I know that I will be very proud of myself once I've done it so I'm gonna tell this anxiety to shut the fuck up and I'm gonna drive the damn car <laughs> sorry for cursing so much but oh my god I don't want to do this it's about 8 o'clock right now. I've been eating breakfast. I've been packing. And I am gonna meditate for like 10-15 minutes. Just to ground myself so I will feel fine. And I'm, I'm, I'm shaking right now, like my hands are really shaky. And I will just try to relax. <laughs> and. Uh, be grounded, get my heart rate down, and tell myself it's gonna be fine, you're a good driver, you've had your driver's license for a real long time, it's gonna be fine. Whenever I'm meditating I use this one, <laughs> it might look a bit weird, <laughs> but it's uh, this is my meditation crystal, and I'm not really one of those type of people who believe in crystals, if you want to say that. I love anything shiny, obviously, <laughs> but I was drawn to this and I use it when I meditate, I use it when I feel anxious, I just press it and I'm gonna I'm gonna have this in the car with me. Hey Ville! Hi! Ville wants to say hi. Hey! Are we going to visit dad today? Yeah! You can sit there. Hey, good boy. Yeah, so I use this and 
Yeah, I love this. Is it called Selenite? I think it's for clatter clarity and it actually helps helps me. I'm gonna have this now when I meditate, and when I meditate, I also use the app Headspace because I love Headspace, and I've been using Headspace for a long time. I've been doing a lot of their courses, so right now I'm on a stress and anxiety course, and I really enjoy it. It really helps. So I'm gonna do that for like 15 minutes, and then it's time to oh, then it's time to drive. We are in Lillehammer right now. We have about one hour left. Uh, we just stopped here at a gas station to fill up some gas and for me to pee and so Vila could pee. And I so want to get there because this drive is horrible. I, I hate it. I hate driving on places like this. I can start crying right now because I just don't trust myself when I'm driving. That sounds bad, I know and I don't trust other people and it's just I'm so stressed I'm not gonna do this <laughs> again sorry Thomas if you're watching this if you're in Kvam again I will not come and visit you not that you're not worth it it's just the stress to do this is horrible okay I have one hour left and the PMS is horrible right now you see? Have you have you did that I did it! I yeah. drove here! Yay! I did it! <laughs> morning we just took a quick dip in the freezing ice cold lake there <laughs> it was fun now we're awake we don't need coffee right now right <laughs> this is better than coffee <laughs> so it's the next day and as you saw we just took a swim in the freezing ice cold river down here but it was beautiful it was nice to wake up like that uh, and Thomas he worked night shift last night but today he's free He's off work today, so we are gonna take a hike, I think, today somewhere around here, because it's beautiful here. Hey, Ville! And Ville is so happy, he's running around and swimming and, yeah, being a happy camper. So we're gonna have some breakfast right now, and then we're gonna see where we're gonna go to take the hike. <laughs> basically been out for the entire day 
Uh, it's about 6.30 right now and yeah, we've been out walking, hiking, being out in nature. Uh, it's been an absolutely lovely day, wouldn't you say, Thomas? Oh, it's been awesome. We've been skinny dipping in the lakes here and yeah, it's been fun. Right now, we are gonna eat pizza because we're hungry. We've just been snacking all day. And if you can hear, if you know this sound, we're gonna watch Sex in the City. I am sitting here and I'm a bit sad because uh, I think I decided to uh, drive home today and um, oh, I'm so scared of, <laughs> of the car. I'm so scared of driving back home. I don't know if I if I decide to stay here until Thomas is going home from work but he's it's Monday today and um, Thomas is going home he's going home at uh, at Wednesday and I have nothing to do like until um, like I'm not going to work until Friday so I could stay here but I still need to drive the car, it's just, so of course it would be, uh, since he has his, uh, his work car, he has to drive that and I have to drive uh, this car. Uh, but it was, of course it would be nice if he would just be driving in front or behind me all the way, but I still need to drive the damn car. Oh, I don't under really understand this really weird fear since I've had it since I took my my driver's license and I've had it for a long time for many years and I, I'm only scared to drive uh, on places where I haven't been driving before so I've been driving the way I'm gonna drive now one time now but it doesn't really help because it was a horrible drive <laughs> And I don't really feel like doing it again. And of course the car accident didn't help. So now I'm sitting here being a bit indecisive if I should drive now or if I should wait two days. But I don't really feel like waiting two days because now Thomas is working days. Um, so I'm just being here by myself with Villa full days and I forgot my computer so I can't really edit any videos and I have nothing to do really so I don't know why I'm here <laughs> like when now when I came here like I've been here two nights now and yesterday Thomas was free all day and we had an absolutely amazing day yesterday but now he's away at work for full days and tomorrow again and, and Wednesday again and it's like, what am I gonna do here? Like, I have, I have nothing to do here. So I could, might as well just go home. I don't know. Okay, after a lot of, after a lot of being very, very, very indecisive, and called my dad crying and asking, I always, whenever I feel very like sad about stuff like logis logistically stuff I call my dad and ask for advice and uh, so I've decided to stay here until Thomas is done at w for, from work until Wednesday so we can drive home together because that feels better because I have nothing really to do at home <laughs> um, I could do more things at home of course meet friends and stuff and edit, edit uh, videos but I just I I can't uh, find myself to go in the car and drive all the way back home by myself. Thomas was so nice and he came uh, when he was on his break with a few pencils and a, a block of paper and color like this. 
so I can sit here and have something to do. So I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy the, the beautiful sight, watch one relay swimming and paint something and just listen to a podcast and just being in the sun. And I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> so happy that I stayed because it's been such an amazing relaxing day it didn't start out so great as you saw that I was crying and stuff <laughs> but we've been walking I've been meditating a lot I've been sitting here reading sitting by the river and painting some yeah whatever just what I felt like I, I can show you guys what I painted <laughs> it's not done yet but painted a pig <laughs> yeah <laughs> a pig pig is my spirit animal Thomas is home he's coming home soon we're gonna cook some food and just enjoy the rest of the night and I feel so Zen right now and calm it feels good and I'm very happy that Thomas actually came here <laughs> as a gift he gave me painting supplies um, so I wouldn't be so bored and I'm taking full advantage of being here in the camper and seeing this as a little you know a retreat to meditate do yoga reading painting going for walks sit sitting by the the river oh by the way, by the river, speaking of by the river, when I was sitting there painting, I wish I had the camera just at that point. I was sitting and painting, Villa was laying beside me, and I see in the corner of my eye a brown thing, and I think it was a bird. So I didn't really look up, and it was like one meter away from me, so it was like just beside me. And I was like, why isn't it leaving? So I looked up, and it was a what is it called? It's not a it's not an otter. It's what are those called? I need my phone. I need to Google that. So Google says it's called mus mustelids. Wait, mustelids. 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 What does this sound like? Mustelids. Mustelids. One of these cute guys came up to me and it was sitting by this rock just beside me, by me and Ville, and it was just looking. It just stood there like this for like five seconds and looked at us. And I got so happy. I just started smiling like crazy and I think I scared it because and then it ran away and it just swam into the river and I was like Oh my god, oh my god, I've never seen something like that before. But I, I was just filled with such joy because it was so cute, it was just looking at us like, What are you guys doing here? Good morning everyone. So it's the last day here and I am driving home today. <sighs> Wish me good luck. Oh, I made it home safely. Oh, it feels so good. I'm actually very, very, very proud of myself that it went so well. It went better home than to come. So yeah, oh, I'm finally home. Oh, I'm really hungry right now, so I'm gonna make myself lunch. I'm gonna be out moving for the rest of the day and then later at tonight I'm gonna take uh, a bath. Because I've been sitting and driving for the last six hours, so I need to be moving now. And oh, yeah, just I know I said a few clips ago that this was not worth it, but it, it very, very much was. It was worth it. Uh, it's been a lovely little retreat, <laughs> definitely. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, weekend vlog. Uh, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!